Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Vision platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your JMIN examination. This question came on 31st August 2021 in shift 2. So let us see this question first. Question says, if velocity V time T and force F are chosen as the base quantity, the dimension of the mass will be. So this question is a dimension analysis question. So it in which you have been given this mass is dependent on velocity let its power to which it is dependent is a and time let it power to which it is dependent is t b and it also depends upon mass uh, force okay so it this let this power to which it is dependent is let it be c okay here the dimension of mass is m only so m1 what about the dimension of speed or velocity? It is L T minus 1 raised to power A. Again, T raised to power B. T is a time. Dimension of time is T only. And what about the dimension of force? It is ML T minus 2. So raised to power C. So now we'll be equating it. So we'll be getting A T minus A T B m raised to power c, l raised to power c, t raised to power minus 2, c. So, you will be getting m, c, l, what would be? l would be a plus c and t would be minus a plus b minus 2c. Okay, here m is raised to power 1. So, by equating left and right hand side, you can easily say that this c must be equal to 1. Okay, so the power of mass is 1 only, so this C must be equal to 1. Okay, now what about uh, A plus C? L is raised to power 0 and time is also raised to power 0. Okay, because it is uh, here in left hand side, you won't be getting any term related to length and time. So this A plus C must be equal to 0. So this A plus C is equal to 0. So from which you can easily say that a must be equal to minus 1. Okay. Also minus a plus b minus 2c is equal to 0. a is 1 so it would be minus, okay. a is minus 1 so it would be plus 1 plus b minus 2 c is 1 so it would be 2 must be equal to 0. So from here you can easily uh, get the value of b as plus 1. Okay. So it would be plus 1. So that means this term must be equivalent to v raised to power which is a, a is minus 1, t raised to power b, b is 1 and f raised to power c which is 1. So this would be our correct answer. So let us see this answer first. Which option is correct? So it is v minus 1, t1 and f1. So f1 t1 and v minus 1. So second option is a correct option that we are getting. Okay. Such a type of question is quite easier to solve. Just you need to remember the dimensions of each physical quantities or derived quantities. Okay. Rest everything would be clear. I hope this question is clear to everyone. Thank you.